Hi, and welcome to this very special edition of Bake with the Pixie with Family Friendly HQ. My name is Jen, and I am the Pixie behind the Pixie Box Bakery. And today we are celebrating everything St. Patrick's Day with a lovely chocolate biscuit cake recipe with a green twist. It's a very easy recipe for the whole family to get involved in making and enjoying together. So no matter what you get up to this St. Patrick's Day, you'll have a lovely treat to enjoy together. I'm gonna to go through a quick run through of all the ingredients and the equipment, and then we will get stuck straight in. So to make this chocolate biscuit cake, you're going to need 240 grams of chocolate. I have dark chocolate here, but feel free to swap it out for milk chocolate if you prefer. I have 100 grams of butter. I have 170 grams of milk chocolate digestives. Again, feel free to swap out your favorite biscuit if you prefer something else. Um, I have 70 grams of marshmallows. I have some golden syrup uh, and I have some two big bars of uh, mint aero chocolate. Uh, so it's 180 grams in total that you will need. And I also have some of their little mint chocolate aero uh, bubble balls. So they're just for decoration on the top, as well as obviously some green, lovely green sparkly um, sprinkles. So whatever sprinkles you have at home, whatever decorations you would like to use on your chocolate biscuit cake, feel free to swap out whatever you prefer. Next is all the equipment that we're going to need. So I have a lovely big saucepan here with a heat proof bowl that sits comfortably on top of it, but not down into the body of the saucepan itself. And you're gonna use this to melt all of the butter and the chocolate. Alternatively, you can use the microwave, but you're just gonna to have to stir it a lot more often um, into in a microwave. You're also gonna need a cupcake tray. So I've lined this with eight little cupcake cases for our chocolate biscuit cake. And the tray is great just to keep everything in one place and to stop it toppling onto the floor. And finally, you're also going to need two tablespoons and I have a spatula here, or else you can use a wooden spoon and that's just to mix all the ingredients together. So the first thing we need to do is melt our butter, our chocolate and our golden syrup all together using this technique with the saucepan. So I've got a kettle here full of boiling water and I'm just gonna fill it up Fill the saucepan up a little bit with hot water. And um, you don't want the bottom of your bowl to touch the boiling water. So as long as your bowl isn't touching the boiling water, so put it on and lift it up. It's not wet, so we're perfect there. And we'll pop that onto the stove now in a moment. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to tip in your chocolate, that bowl, your butter, and your golden syrup. So you're gonna need four tablespoons of golden syrup. Now, big trick here with golden syrup and spoons is to heat your spoon. So using the boiling water that you've just poured, tip your, dip your tablespoon into it, and now it's heated up, the golden syrup will run off the spoon a lot quicker. So we'll do that now. It's a bit of a slow, a slow job, but we'll get there in the end. And I'm gonna pop this mixture up on top of the boiling water in the saucepan on a medium heat and stir it every so often until everything is melted. And then we can get stuck into the next part. So here we go, up it goes, and onto the stove on a medium heat. Now, so all of the chocolate, the butter, and the golden syrup have melted together into this beautiful, luscious mixture, and I've allowed it to come to room temperature. So, uh, two reasons. Firstly, it's a little bit safer for kids to get involved when it's at room temperature, and also, if you put in all of the mint aero stuff into uh, the hot chocolate, it's all gonna melt, and you're gonna miss when you eat it, all those lovely chunks of green inside of your chocolate biscuit cake. So, just let it come down to room temperature, and then it won't melt. If it does melt, it's not the end of the world. It's still gonna taste amazing. So don't worry about it if it does melt a little bit. So I have retained 12 of the little squares of uh, mint arrow to the side and we're gonna use that to decorate um, our chocolate biscuit cake at the end. But the rest of it I've broken up into all of the little cubes. And while the chocolate was melting, I also broke up all of the biscuits. So we're gonna pour in all of that into our chocolatey mix. And we're also going to pour in the marshmallows. Again, retain a little bit of them for decoration, but the majority of them can get tossed straight into our mixture. So I've kept back eh, about that much for decorations for later on. And now we're just gonna mix all of this together until it's all covered in that lovely butter, chocolate, and uh, golden syrup. So it doesn't take too long. A couple of good big mixes and we're good to go. 
And now we're going to start lining our cupcake cases with this lovely mixture. So there you go, it's all ready to go. And you're gonna take your cupcake tray out and using those two tablespoons that you put to the side earlier on, you're gonna take a scoop of your uh, mixture and pop it into the case. So these cases are a little bit big, so they're gonna take two scoops. If you've got smaller cupcake cases, you're gonna make a bigger batch or else just half all the quantities if you don't want that many of them. So I have filled up my eight cupcake cases with our lovely chocolate biscuit cake and now they are ready to be decorated. So first thing you start off with, if you're using all of the same decorations as I have, uh, first thing you're gonna use are your sprinkles. Otherwise they're just gonna go everywhere. They're probably gonna go everywhere anyway, but <laughs> we'll crack on. So sprinkle all of that on onto your piece. Then you're gonna go in with, I like to break these up. Uh, so you get a big chunk of this on the top of it. So you get a chunk and you can stick that in like that. Then you're gonna get a couple of your little mini marshmallows and shove that in. And then the top of it all off, stick this up here, is one of the little aero bubbles and make sure you've got your green side sticking out. So there you go. There's the first one decorated and then we can get going with all the rest of them. See all of the lovely decorations. You've got your sprinkles, the little bit of mint arrow, the chocolate ball on top, and the oh, the marshmallows as well. So these can set reasonably quickly uh, if they're left out on the counter, or else if you need them ASAP, you can stick them into the fridge and they will set really quickly there. Um, and they will be enjoyed by everyone, I promise you that. And they're so, so nice. They won't last very long, but they should last. If you have a few left, they'll last a few days in an airtight container. But here you go. They are the chocolate biscuit cake um, Paddy's Day recipe for the Family Friendly HQ. So I have been Jen from the Pixie Box Bakery and I have been delighted to be able to do this special Bake with the Pixie class with you. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you have a wonderful Paddy's Day and I'll catch you soon.